There are a lot of Northeast Ohioans with connections to Florida as well. 75 was a parking lot yesterday. It was all jammed up. Some have their most precious possessions in the Sunshine State, and no, we are not talking about things. News 5 anchor Tracy Carla spoke with parents happy to have their college students home safe. As massive Milton moves in, it's turn, turning counterclockwise. Some Northeast Ohio parents are moving their kids out of its path. I wasn't really worried. I wanted to ride it out um, until I realized everybody else was leaving. Every single person was leaving. This is when you were um, moving in. Timmy Mohar. That's my dorm building. He's a college freshman in Fort Myers. I love it. It's awesome. At Florida Gulf Coast University. I was literally like one of the only people left at the school. Um, it, was, it was super eerie. It was a weird feeling. It was hectic. People were taking toilet paper, water, shelves were cleared everywhere. Gas was out at every gas station. It's a good school. His mom got him the last ticket on a plane heading home last night. To have him home is just so much more comforting than having him down there and not really knowing what's going on. As the humongous hurricane sets its sights on Florida, parents watching from hundreds of miles away are worried. So many young adults from this area are heading down south now to go to college. And, um, you know, it's a worry for parents that, you know, just one more worry when we have so many worries. And the Mohars aren't alone. There are other families here in Northeast Ohio who have connections to Southwest Florida. The Gulf Coast is like the Midwest of the Florida, so you're, it's full of Midwesterners. Cheryl Regan's two sons are college students in Southwest Florida. My first hurricane, Hurricane Ian, which was uh, which was brutal. Her son John was a freshman when Ian hit. You don't know where it's going, you don't know how, how bad it's going to be, and that's with Ian. It, it was going to go to Tampa and then it shifted down here, to or shifted to uh, Naples, and we were uh, we were scared. It's a nerve-wracking experience. This time, all three of them decided to leave. My litmus test is when the natives start to get very upset and concerned, then you can feel the pulse in the air and you can kind of feel like, okay, this is a bad one. So as Milton barrels towards the place so many Northeast Ohioans love, many parents are happy that their most precious possessions Tonight I'll sleep much better. Our home, Tracy Carlos. It's best for us just to come here. News 5.